Going into the 2020 season, many expected California to fight for the Pac-12 North title. Unfortunately, the team was crushed by contact tracing and injuries, and the season went the opposite way instead. This year, they return a lot of production and look to fight for the North title this year as they fly under the radar. Will they be able to? Let's talk about that. We are now almost done with the month of July, meaning we are in prime preview magazine season as the college football season quickly approaches. This month and next month, I will be previewing every college football team, yes, all 130, and this episode, I will be looking at California. Last year, California went 1-3, beating Oregon State 21-17. They returned 81% of their production from last year, which ranks 20th nationally. On offense, they returned 75% of their production, which ranks 52nd nationally, and on defense, they returned 87% of their production, which ranks 11th. Justin Wilcox returns as head coach, putting together a record of 21 and 21. Before becoming head coach, he served as a linebacker coach at Cal from 2003 to 2005 and serving as defensive coordinator for Boise State, Tennessee, Washington, USC, and Wisconsin from 2006 to 2016. Offensive coordinator Bill Musgraves enters his second year in Berkeley. Since 2003, Musgraves has served as the offensive coordinator for the Denver Broncos, Oakland Raiders, Minnesota Vikings and Jacksonville Jaguars in the NFL. Defensive coordinator Pete Sermon served as co-defensive coordinator in 2019 and served as inside linebacker coach in 2018. California returns 10 super seniors and looks to make a run at the Pac-12 North title. On offense, California returns 8 starters including starting quarterback Chase Garbers. Garbers started 10 games in 2018 throwing for 1,506 yards, 14 touchdowns and 10 interceptions. He finished the 2019 season throwing for 1,772 yards, 14 touchdowns, and 3 interceptions in 9 starts. When Garber started and finished the game, the Golden Bears were 7-0 and were 1-5 when he did not. Last year, he threw for 771 yards, 6 touchdowns, and 3 interceptions, but the team was crushed by COVID, specifically the offensive line. At running back, Christopher Brown rushed for 914 yards and averaged 4.4 yards per carry in 2019. He only had 21 carries for 65 yards in 2020. True freshman Damian Moore led the team in rushing with 188 yards last year, and Marcel Dancy rushed for 156 yards. They only lose running back Bradrick Shaw and fullback Drew Schlegel. At wide receiver, Kiko Crawford led the team in receiving with 232 yards and averaged 12.2 yards per catch. Nico Remigio was the top wide receiver in 2019 with 513 yards and finished with 90 yards last year. Sophomore Jeremiah Hunter looks to stretch the field after missing last year with a shoulder injury. J. Michael Sturdivant chose California over LSU, Oklahoma, and UCLA and could make an instant impact. They lose Makai Polk, but the returning unit may flourish this year. On the offensive line, three linemen missed two games last year due to contact tracing and injuries. They lose honorable mention Pac-12 right tackle Jack Curran, but returned 99 combined starts including seven players who recorded at least one start last year. On defense, California returns four starters. They lose defensive end Brett Johnson to a broken hip that requires surgery and will cause him to miss all of 2021. Only one starter returns on the defensive line, but they should have young talent, adding depth, and could still be a tough unit in 2021. At linebacker, the Golden Bears are led by seniors Cameron Good and Kyung Dang. Good averaged two tackles for a loss a game in 2020 and could be a late round NFL draft pick. Dang could be a day two pick this year and moves from the inside to the outside, which should be a more natural position for him. He led the team with 31 tackles last year and has 150 career tackles in 17 games. Mulu Isefa started at linebacker twice last year as a true freshman. The only true freshman to start on defense last year and should be good on the inside this year. Six players return with prior experience in the linebacker unit. When it comes to the secondary, the Golden Bears lose first team Pac-12 cornerback Cameron Bynum. Five players return with starting experience. Elijah Hicks and Josh Drayden are back for their 5th and 6th years, respectively, and combined for 85 games and 44 starts. They had Florida State transfer Raymond Woody III, who impressed during spring ball. According to Garbers, a Pac-12 title is the team's goal as they play the 38th toughest schedule, according to Phil Steele. Athlon projects them to go 7-5 and 5-4 and and in conference play, while ESPN projects them to win 5.4 games and 3.5 conference games. I project them to go 5-7 and 7 and 3-6 and in conference play, but easily see them winning seven games. I have them beating Nevada in the season opener, but losing to TCU in week two before beating Sacramento State. I think they lose at Washington, but beat Washington State at home, 
going into their bye. Coming off their bye, I have them losing at Oregon and to Colorado before beating Oregon State. Here's the controversial decision. Back in the Arizona video, I projected Arizona's one conference win against Cal. So I have them beating the Golden Bears, along with USC before they go on the road and beat Stanford. I think they lose the season finale at UCLA. I could see California beating both Colorado and Arizona to get to seven wins, but in my projections, they don't. But what do you think? How will California do this season? Let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, check out my other videos in the preview series. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And as always, remember to embrace the grind.